really, really stout run defender. Tremendous balance, I think, as a, as a run defender. Uh, not easily moved. Very, very difficult to move from the line of scrimmage. Um, uh, he has terrific length, terrific backfield awareness. One of the things that strikes me, you know, as I've had a little bit of time to reflect on this signing, is that um, it's pretty forward thinking. You know, you're going to lose Wormley after this year. Wormley certainly is now backing up Brockers, but but it isn't just a quick fix for one year. Um, you're getting a guy who changes the line of scrimmage um, right now, and uh, you don't have to worry about the position, position moving forward. I like to watch the, the All-22 view uh, and see who wins the line of scrimmage. Uh, you can see him in a pretty deep set here. Uh, this is him at four technique. The left tackle uh, from Pittsburgh is going to get into him first. Uh, nice job with full extension. You can see he has very long limbs here and he's able to get off this block. Uh, watch it full speed. That shows you everything you need to know about where uh, the line of scrimmage is uh, and where he ends up um, as he engages the blocker. Here we see him at nose tackle, um, shading the center. Watch how he fires off the ball here. And again, watch the line of scrimmage. You're going to watch him double teamed and not give an inch. Look at that. Watch it again. I like the effort that he plays with. Uh, a lot of times you'll see him spring out of a block uh, when it looks like there's a hole. See him here get comboed by Nick and by Orlando, and he gets turned inside, or so it would seem. And then he gets off Orlando, and watch this effort. Watch this pursuit. Guys, 6'5", uh, 305. Um, when we watch it from the other side, we'll see that he's just strong. You know, he just throws Orlando off here. There's the puller. You can barely see this, but watch his outside arm. Chucks Orlando to the side and watch the pursuit. Watch the athleticism in space to bring down uh, Gus. This is Brockers at four technique. Watch his vision, watch his balance, and watch his ability to get off a block and make a play here. See his eyes in the backfield. He's really in an unorthodox spot here, especially here. Now, watch. He looks like he's out of this play. Uh, he has really a, a knack for shedding out of a really unorthodox body uh, position and making a play. That's really, really impressive. Great strength, uh, great flexibility there. It's what he shows in being able to find the ball carrier here. He's not to be trifled with at the line of scrimmage. The Ravens have uh, tackle over in the form of uh, Stanley here, and he gives Ronnie the business. Watch, where, watch the line of scrimmage and where Ronnie ends up. Um, Full extension, he's controlling him here, effectively pushing him into the back's path. He's going to get off Ronnie and make this stop. This is Michael at 4i. Watch this shed here. Uh, he has an, a knack for seemingly being out of the play. Look at this, what looks like a hole, and having an idea of where the ball carrier is headed, and then shedding as he wills, just tossing that, that uh, tackle aside. Mm. You can see that from this angle here. This looks like a hole. This looks like a big hole with uh, just a uh, DB in the, in the uh, alley for him to beat, the back to beat. He comes out of nowhere there, just has a real understanding of what's going on in the backfield. And look at that strength. Watch that power as he pulls that tackle. Rams line him up just inside the tackle a lot. Um, watch him engage this guard here. Uh, working his hands here, he grabs the guard's wrist. He's watching the back in the backfield. And you see that full extension. Just a real great job of using his length right there. Uh, again, shows his ability to just get off. You can see how strong he is. Guy can play the run. Uh, so he's working that, that inside arm, uh, specifically the wrist. That just great length here. Boom. Makes a play. It's another example. Um, this is him at six technique. Another example of him seemingly being out of the play. Here he gets comboed. You see uh, Pat get into him with Nick, it looks like. Um, see him knocked off balance. But just having an uh, uncanny, I guess, sense of where you can see his eyes here, where the ball carrier is going to end up. 
You can see him wildly off balance there, right? I said, should say he has great balance there. Watch him shed, shed Nick and get the ball carrier down, man. Really impressive uh, balance, uh, playmaking ability, and uh, ability to shed from those, those awkward angles. One more play of him giving uh, Ronnie, what, four here. You, you got to imagine Ronnie feels like he's got him here. Uh, watch Michael finding the ball carrier. Engage with Ronnie, obviously. Uh, so, so many times you see him uh, looking like he's at a bad angle or looking like he's beat. You can see that. Ronnie's really got him almost, almost turned there. Here he is against the uh, big oaf that plays left tackle for the Steelers. Um, you see that length come into play here. You know, this guy comes up and just grabs him and thinks he's going to throw him around. But all the while, Michael's kind of shuffling, finding the ball carrier. Uh, and you can see right here as he extends, the tackle doesn't has no longer has the ability to hold on to him um, or control him. He gets off that block right at the right, at the right time. 